uh, top leadership, you know, very impressive portfolio, but Strata's a different show altogether, right? It's a lot the, of suits at IBM, it's, what's it been like? It's here? the emerging, it's really the emerging ecosystem around this big data trend, which is cloud mobile and social and around analytics and insights. Dave, and I want to ask you your first, uh, what you think about the top trends that we're tracking, but Hadoop World started three years ago. We were here at theCUBE, our well, the first to broadcast this big data revolution. We continue to do, it's our third season, we're proud to be here, but it's really representing the emerging marketplace of startups and big companies now and big business with big insights on, on important matters, not just about data, about, about changing the world. So we are very, very excited, and uh, we're going to have a packed schedule. The keynotes just went off uh, <laughs> fantastically, and uh, it's exciting. So, so first question, Dave, to you is, what are you looking for? What are you tracking for trends, and what are you looking for here at Strata uh, and Hadoop World? Hey John, I think you're going to hear some themes this, uh, this week, uh, really around real time. Uh, there's going to be a major emphasis on that. Everybody. You know, the traditional legacy data warehouse guys, you know, Larry Ellison, we heard him essentially say this at Oracle Open World, they like to say, okay, Hadoop is patch, we are real time. So take all that, once Hadoop does all its filtering, bring it into us and then we'll make it real time. And I think the Hadoop community and the open source community and the startup community say, no, that's not really the way to do it. We're going to unify uh, the SQL and the NoSQL words. We're going to really deliver real time query capability within the Hadoop platform itself. So I think that's going to be a major theme. I, I think the, the other thing you're going to see is a lot of emphasis on applications and application platforms. As you know, that's been an area that's been you know, lacking, quite frankly, in, in Hadoop. So that platform area. You know, Hadoop's pretty pretty stable. We got the application layer on top. All the action seems to be going on in the middle. Yeah, and so again, I totally agree. And what I'm going to be looking for to get a little bit more deeper on that and drill down is that there's a couple of big things going on in the marketplace that we want to pay attention to and highlight. One is Hadoop started out a couple years ago and has emerged as a as the standard. Some people think Hadoop equals big data. That is no longer the case. You're seeing a couple of big things happen around the explosion of data. Tim Estes from Digital Reasoning, Cube alumni, was just giving a keynote about this big understanding gap, and that is that the ex explosion of data um, has increased so much, but the actual attention to the data has remained flat. That creates an, creates an understanding gap, meaning people need to get insight of the data, and that's a core thing. And from the, the multiple cube uh, uh, interviews we've done, Dave, one thing is very clear that's coming out of the marketplace, and that is two things, analytics really matter. Analytics matter because of the insights are, are there, they're, they're possible to get now, and so getting analytics on the data is very, very important. And secondly, the business side of the equation is very, very relevant, meaning businesses are going to apply that, that data, the raw material, and plus the analytics and the insight to actually impact their business value, whether that's re increasing revenue and reducing costs. So those are the two main new things that we're seeing emerge in this evolution and the revolution of big data. And then you know, some minor points on the, underneath those two points is uh, insights, the growth of unstructured data, NoSQL um, or, and SQL databases, and also the notion of relational database management systems has been the, the core theme in the database world. That's being um, threatened initially, but now being co-opted with unstructured data, and that's where the new performance, the new capabilities are coming in. And then merging data sets, <laughs> public and private data, and obviously real time. All these things are all elements orbiting around this big opportunity, and we're going to be covering it here. We've got a great lineup, um, so it's really, really exciting. Again, and two things, analytics for insights and business applications is going to be the real focus, I think, here at Hadoop. And Dave, the keynotes, we're, we're really talking about that. You know what else, John, too? I think you can, you can tell when a market becomes real because there starts, there starts to be some real religious discussions. Should I charge, should I not charge? Should I do ETL inside the data warehouse or outside the data warehouse? Our way is better than their way. And so this is, these are companies that are really putting their stakes in the ground, try to drive traction with customers, <laughs> you know, drive value and business value, and, and you know, gain traction in the market? I was watching the keynote, Alistair Cole was introducing Tim from uh, Digital Reasoning and he said, you know, Mark Andreessen wrote that famous uh, Wall Street Journal op-ed that said software's eating the world and if software's eating the world, then data is its food. And, and really that highlights the point that the idea of using data is really, really, really key. And so that's going to be something that we're going to focus on. Uh, data is not going away, that's going to impact storage, that's going to impact backup and recovery, that's going to impact how people use their applications. So I'm curious to hear uh, what's changed as well from last year, remember last year was the big explosion of applications. And again, I think that really didn't happen this year. So I want to ask Mike Olson about that because that was the big focus of Cloudera. So still, I think the applications were lagging, but what hasn't lagged is the focus of analytics. And again, analytics is the big deal, whether that's visualization and or making use of the data, Dave, that's going to be very, very key. And um, 
you know, we are here at Hadoop World Strata, plus Hadoop World now being put on by O'Reilly Media, um, and we want to thank O'Reilly for letting, letting us come here and, and, and uh, broadcast live the, the Cube, SiliconANGLE TV's The Cube. But our, our generous support from our sponsors, again, I want to put a shout out to Cloudera, the big data platform, they're really helping us out, MapR, Datastax, Hadapt, Hortonworks, Opera, Squirrel, Tableau, and Rainstore. Without their generous support, we wouldn't be able to bring you this most excellent coverage. Um, so let's talk about the keynotes, Dave. What did you think about the keynotes? Obviously we have all the big names in the industry, uh, kicking off with uh, Ed and Alistair of Raleigh Media, Mike Olson, Ben Werther of Plat4, a new startup. So you got a mix, mixed bag here of the normal um, pioneers of the startup community, plus some big dogs coming in. So what's your take on the keynotes, this balance of emerging startups plus the big guys. What? Are they on an M&A spree? Is the messaging good? Give us your, uh, your analysis. Well, I, I, I didn't catch a chunk of them because you know I flew in on the red eye, but I will say you're right. There's a mix of uh, large companies and small companies, and I think that the other thing you're going to hear, you're, and you're hearing an emphasis on the keynotes, and I think you're going to hear throughout the, the, the week, is, is really um, making Hadoop Enterprise ready. You know, that's something that the, 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 the big guys are talking about, even some of the little guys like, like MapR has always you know, pushed that as well. And then you're going to hear a lot about unification. As I said, there's this, these religious wars going on about how, to, how best to do that. And um, really what we're talking about here is bringing together the worlds of SQL and NoSQL, and the advantage of that is that everybody knows SQL, everybody understands the language, so the, the, the sea of programmers out there that understand the, the lingua franca of SQL can now participate in Hadoop directly. Yeah, and the startup community is a buzz, and I think one of the things that's abundantly clear is if you're a venture capitalist, all the hot deals are here. If you're in business looking for startups, one thing that's changed in, the, in, our, in our computer industry, Dave, is startups now can come into a big company like a JP Morgan, like a big bank, these production houses that were once big IBM accounts, big EMC accounts, big HP accounts, now can go to startups because startups are getting to the market faster with rock solid solutions. So the startup <coughs> community actually is playing a big part of forcing these new applications into the marketplace that's causing the big guys like IBM to react. Uh, for instance, decision management support, once owned by IBM, now coming in and companies like Hadapt, Platform, Continuity, these startups are changing the game. We're covering a Squirrel, Opera Solutions. Um, these are startups that are hot and they have a viable, viable product. So what, what's your analysis well, of that? The other big theme you're hearing, and I think this is critical, is, is going beyond just the data analysts to the business users, you know, scaling to a much, much larger audience. <coughs> Visualization's a key part of that. You're going to hear a lot about visualization this week. You remember the first Hadoop world we ever did, our friend Abi Mehta came on and he said, you ever hear a company called Tableau? And we were talking about Tableau. Now everybody's announcing partnerships with Tableau. You're going to see some competition to Tableau this week. So that is a critical piece of the adoption pie. So, we're here at Strata. Dave, one final thing, we've got a big lineup of guests. We're going to try to stay on the clocks, trying to stay on task okay. here. Um, what's your big question you want to ask folks today? What are you personally looking for to fish out of this uh, uh, noisy, kind of noisy environment? Again, 3,000 people are here at the Hilton. Uh, a lot of action, a lot of companies doing press release. What are you looking for? Well, I, I'm looking for, our, you know, we know, all know about the sandbox, the Hadoop sandbox. I'm looking for, okay, what are we doing in real production? Where's the business value? That's really where my emphasis is going to be. Okay, we have it all here on SiliconANGLE's flagship program, theCUBE, we're at Strata, plus Hadoop World, now one conference merged between Cloudera run, ran um, Hadoop World, they merged that in, O'Reilly Media is now running it all, and uh, I want to put a shout out to O'Reilly. We're going to be back with wall-to-wall -wall coverage today and tomorrow, stay, stay tuned here on siliconangle.com uh, for continuous wall-to-wall -wall coverage of Strata Hadoop World. We'll be right back with our first guest right after this short break. The problems of scale, continuous availability, and high performance associated with today's transactional systems cannot be solved with 35-year-old relational technology. New problems often require new solutions. 